Hey guys, I'm back with a new video and in this video, I'm going to be testing out a makeup pack. This makeup pack is supposedly supposed to help minimize the appearance of your pores while you have your foundation on. Make your makeup last all day or longer than it normally would, especially if you have oily skin. And it's just supposed to make your overall foundation application look flawless. So if you're wondering what that hack is that I'm gonna be testing out, it is applying setting powder or translucent powder, not setting powder, translucent powder because it's much more finer. And then applying foundation on top of that translucent powder. I know it sounds super crazy and you're probably like, that is just gonna be major cake face. We don't know. We gonna test it out. So before I get into the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can uh, watch more of my videos. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up at the end, of course, if you like the video. And also comment below and let me know what other makeup packs you want me to try out. For this makeup pack, I'm gonna be using the new Urban Decay Velvetizer Powder. This is what it looks like. And actually, you can mix this powder with your foundation. This is actually something that they suggest. But for me, you know, I might save that for another video. I'm going to apply this powder on my face, basically the same way I would bake. So under the eye, um, you know, the T-zone, the chin, forehead, any of the areas that I get really oily where I want my makeup to, my foundation to really stick and look flawless. So I'm gonna put it on all the areas where I get super oily and I want it to just look flawless and my pores to look smaller. I'm gonna apply this powder with my Real Technique sponge and then we're gonna apply foundation on top of it. Wow, literally this powder is so fine and so silky that I was just trying to pick up something and like literally it was slipping out of my hands. So I'm gonna be using my Real Technique sponge and I'm a little embarrassed because I'm not gonna lie, I was lazy and I didn't feel like washing it. So it is dirty from a previous application, but whatever. Don't be sitting there watching me and judging me front end like you have not used one of your sponges before and did not clean it. So I'm just gonna take my sponge and dip it in here and get some powder on there. And basically you're gonna do what you would do if you already had applied your foundation and you want it to bake. Here we go. And I'm gonna put a lot. Not because I don't want it to, uh, not because I want it to fail, I just really want it to, like if it's gonna work, I really wanna put a lot because I want it to suck up all of the oils. Oh my gosh, this powder is so messy. It feels good. <coughs> all right, it's so fine. I'm trying not to breathe while I do this. So I'm just putting in all the areas that I normally would if I um, was baking right now. All right, now I'm gonna move on to my forehead. Hopefully I don't jack up my brows because I did them because this powder is so loose and fine. It's fallen everywhere. If I were to give you an example of the texture and the, the feel and how fine this powder is, it kind of reminds me of baby powder, but probably even more finer, which I don't know how that's possible. So we have the powder on all the areas that I would normally put it on if I were baking and like finishing up the foundation process. I look crazy. I'm not gonna lie, my skin feels good though. And it, oh, wow, wow. So what you're supposed to do is just let, let it all soak up, which mine basically did, but let the oil soak up. And it's just supposed to soak up <laughs> all of the natural um, oils that you have, well, the extra oils that you have, so that when you apply your foundation, it's much more fresh, it lasts longer, because you know, you have the oils from your moisturizer, from you touching your face, just extra sebum production. And this is supposed to basically give you like a clean slate so that you don't have to deal with all that mess, you know, in an hour or two. So this is definitely something um, that you would do, I'm assuming, if you have really oily skin. If you have dry skin right now and you're watching this video, you're probably cringing. Obviously, I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but seeing how it is and how the application is and the fact that you have to use powder before your foundation, if you have dry skin, I would probably stay away from this. But, 
obviously I don't know for sure until I actually get to the end of the video. So let's get on to the next step and I'm gonna apply my foundation. Are you ready? So I'm gonna be using the NYX Total Control um, Drop Foundation. I have the color Golden and Caramel and I'm gonna mix them together because I'm kinda in between. All right, so I have it mixed on the back of my hand right now. I'm going to use the other side of my Real Technique sponge um, and apply my foundation. So here we go. <laughs> I want to start with my chin because I just want to see what's going to happen. Okay. Hmm. So far it's looking good. Wow, it does look flawless. And I feel like it's giving more coverage because the foundation isn't moving like it normally would on your skin. All right, so far the chin looks bomb. All right, so I'm gonna finish applying the rest of my foundation and um, let's see how it looks. All right, we're almost there. Let me just add a little more coverage to my forehead. And then what I'm gonna do is um, zoom up for you guys, and then I'm gonna finish the rest of my makeup. All right, so I'm up close. Wait, let me get in focus. Up close and personal. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this is what it looks like so far. Looks pretty smooth. Okay, so now I'm going to apply some concealer and just highlight a bit. Not really um, too much, cause you guys know how I roll. I don't really do that. So I'm just gonna take my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the color Medium 2 Ginger. And this is the test, because since I put powder, I don't know if this is gonna like still be able to blend with Wow, it is. Okay, it's blended with my concealer. I thought it was gonna look crazy. It's actually making the pig, you know what I'm noticing? You know what I'm noticing is that it's it makes the pigment of whatever you're using come through even more. Okay, I guess we're going for a good highlight. I'm gonna finish this, come back, set it, complete the makeup look, and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay guys, so I completed my makeup look. Right now I'm about to take some setting spray and just set it and forget it. Okay, so after it's done drying, I'm gonna zoom up again for you guys, bring you super close so you can see how it looks, especially in this area so you can see you know, if the pores got smaller, let me know. So this is how it looks up close. I don't know if it looks any different than a normal application. I know my forehead does look pretty flawless. I don't really see anything and my chin does too. Mind you, I didn't use any concealer to conceal any of my blemishes. Okay, so we're gonna test this out, see how long it lasts. Right now, this is the time. I'm gonna leave it on for a few hours and See how it ends up looking. But actually, before I leave, we have to do the flash photography test. All right, so right now, clearly I'm in the dark, but I have my Lumi case on right now, but I'm about to turn it off and take a picture with the flash and we'll see how it looks. All right, so I'm back and um, got some bad news. So not only do I have a bunch of setting powder on my arm, it does not look good in flash photography. I have straight up white cast face, looking like ghost face killer. Let me show you how it looks. So this is how it looks. Look how light my face is compared <laughs> to the rest of my body. Like the makeup looks cute, but that just ruined it completely. If the white cast wasn't there, then this would be perfect. So we already know from this test that I would not recommend doing this makeup pack and going out at night because you're gonna look crazy. My skin does look flawless and even with me zooming up, I don't see a lot of my pores. There's not as much texture. It's just the white cast just killed it. 
All right, so it already failed that test. We're gonna see how long it lasts. I'm gonna leave, come back, and let's see if I look like a grease ball or not in about two to three hours. Okay guys, so I am back and I've had this face on for about six hours. So let's see how it looks. That has, that's long enough for me. But so far, so good. Like, I mean, it's definitely not a miracle. It, truthfully to me kind of acted like a primer, like a mattifying primer. So I feel this is definitely a product you can use or a, a tip or a, a, a hack you can use if you don't like primers, but you do have super oily skin and you want your foundation just to apply really well, really matte, because it definitely does. I don't even think it matters what kind of foundation it is. It's definitely gonna look matte in the areas that you put it in. And if you want it to just last a bit longer throughout the day, then this is definitely a hack. I give this hack a go. I thought it was gonna be a no-no, but it's definitely a go-go. So if you guys wanna try this out, this is a powder that you can use. I do recommend that you use a translucent powder, something that's very fine. You don't want to use something like um, like the Cover FX setting powder with color. I think that will be super thick. And you also don't, you might be able to get away with the Laura Mercier, but I don't think so because it's a bit thicker and this powder is much, much more finer. But what you can use is like the It Cosmetics um, Bye Bye Pores, I think it's called. Or you could also use um, the e.l.f. Cosmetics Translucent Powder that kind of has a similar finish and is definitely more affordable. All right, so this is what it looks like up close. You can see, I mean, it, it definitely obviously doesn't look as fresh as it used to, what makeup really does after like six, seven hours, but it does look pretty good, especially my forehead. I just want to touch up um, just to see how it's gonna look, I'm going to use the same powder, the Urban Decay powder that we used. Wow, it looks brand spanking new now. This powder, this powder, I don't know. The sorcery, what sorcery is this? Wow, it's so fine, it literally brought it back to life. What the frick? Wow, it literally looks like I just applied it. So this, this powder is a go. I mean, of course, like I said, there are other powders that can do the hack in the beginning when you apply you know, your foundation on top of the powder. But this, this Urban Decay, um, the Velvetizer, this is bomb. Like, look how, it still looks pretty flawless. Like, I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really surprised. So this hack is, it's kind of the bomb.com minus, minus the flash photography. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed testing out this makeup hack for you guys. If you have any other makeup hacks that you would like me to try, please let me know. Like please because i love trying out makeup hacks and if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe all that good stuff comment show me some love i'll show you some back and um i'll see y'all my next video deuces mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm.